So uh, anyway, um, I did. I came out and I told everybody for that reason. And then, yeah, like it became like a shitstorm. Uh, and people who said that it wasn't a threat, what is this? What is all this? Uh, what is all this chaos that's going on right now? Uh, with people tagging Eric July, uh, former friends tagging Eric July uh, in these ridiculous tweets. Got a yellow flash, uh, like I said, uh, just today. Uh, has blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> Fuck. It's so awful, man. Hold on. Let me, let me just show you uh, uh, what's going on here. God bless those uh, folks who are able to stay out of this, who are staying neutral, or who see what's going on. There are still a lot of good YouTubers who see what's going on here. And by the way, if you do see what's going on, expect this to happen to you too. Uh, there are a few people who uh, I think people can think of. A few individuals, not many. Two or more. Uh, wait. A few individuals. Wait. A certain individual, maybe two, not many, in parentheses. Uh, you know, I'm sure these people, it's happening to them too. It sucks. All right, here we go. I say massive drama coming in from all angles right now. It's almost like everyone was signaled at once. Who could have predicted? Hashtag night letter. Interesting. All right, so this is, uh, this, is, uh, this is my tweet that kind of explains all this. Yellow Flash, first thing that he did, which, you know, you could say, well, this is because of you, Ethan. Maybe he just doesn't like you. Well, okay. Like, it's okay. You don't like me anymore. That's fine. I've had my heart broken in the past. I can move forward. But that's not what Yellow Flash did. What Yellow Flash did, I don't know if you know this, but Twitter has, like, communities. You can build communities that are, you can join them. You can say, this is the Comicsgate community, and, and uh, your tweets that you tweet are only going to be seen by people who belong to that Comicsgate community. Well, that Comicsgate community was originally started by Yellow Flash a couple years ago, and it had hundreds of members. And there are people in there at the Comicsgate community who are like talking to each other, making friends. When people want to come in here and be a part of Comicsgate, they say, how do I do it? And I say, well, the way that you do it is you have to kind of be a part of Comicsgate. You join uh, in with the sort of social environment of Comicsgate. You, you ask people to retweet you and, and things like this. Uh, it's important that you do that. Um, and the, uh, the easiest way to do that is to join the Twitter Comicsgate community. Well, since Yellow Flash started it, Yellow Flash tore it down. He didn't hand it off to someone else. He just fucking destroyed it. And uh, all of the tweets that were in there, all of the messages, uh, all of the links that people had worked on, all of the stuff that was in there, uh, all gone now. Uh, he, he tore it all down. Uh, so we got some, uh, got some folks. Wait, what happened to the other CG community? They just had to build a new one. Did it get nuked by someone? Uh, this is all I know. I reached out to EVS, but no comment. Yellow Flash was the admin. This community has been deleted by its owners. So, um, yeah, Yellow Flash just kind of blew that up for everybody. Every, all the, the hundreds of people that were in there using that community to promote themselves and fellowship and sort of socialize. What does this have to do with me? You can be mad at me if you want to, you know, you could say whatever you want about me. What does this have to do with me? I don't even remember if I was a member of this community. I think I was, I didn't use it very much. So this didn't hurt me. This just hurt hundreds of other indie creators. Yellow flash, like, you know, there, this was ridiculous. You didn't have to do that. You could block me. You could block Camelot. You could block whoever you want that you're disagreeing with. But like this was dropping a nuke on all of these little indie creators who uh, were just trying to get seen and who had just gotten a foothold in, in the industry, in the ind independent comic sphere, and you just blew it up? Like that has, that has nothing to do with me at all. Uh, I don't know why that happened. I don't, I don't know if it was ordered by someone that this needed to happen. I don't know why. In fact, I don't know why Yellow Flash blocked me. Uh, let me just point out real quick that none of the other zeros have me blocked. You know, it's like uh, Neurotic, uh, you know, all his whole gang on Friday Night Tights, none of them have me blocked. Eric July doesn't have me blocked. 
my friend, Yellow Flash, is the only one that sent a message to the internet, uh, or at least to me, uh, by blocking me and blocking people who he's now decided he's against. I don't know what to say about that. What'd you do that for? Like, you could just, most people who have, who have a trouble with me just kind of walk away from me. You don't have to block me. You don't have to do that. I, I'm, especially when we're not fighting. Like, I didn't say anything to you. I didn't do anything to you. I haven't said anything to you. you know, what'd you do that for? And then, you know, since you did that, what did you do this for? What did you d delete the community for? What did all these people do to you? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I truly don't understand that. I don't get it. I could think about that all day and I would never understand that. Uh, so anyway, yeah, deletes this. <clears throat> People are asking him, like, why did you block, uh, you know, Ethan? Why did you block Camelot? Why did you block these guys? Yellow Flash, I assume, talks about me because I do have this ego that he's talking about. He says, another person walks away from an ego-driven asshole, which, by the way, there's so much projection here. I'm not saying that I would walk away from Flasher. He's an ego dri driven asshole, but like, uh, that's what I was trying to do when I revealed the text response. Everyone is attacking me. No, you're just an asshole. Okay. Again, flash, if that's true, and it's, this is just about me being an ego driven asshole, which is true in a lot of ways. Uh, what does that have to do with the comic skate room? What does that have to do with that? Why did you do that to all those people? And by the way, uh, you know, go ahead and post that. And then the next thing that you... <laughs> Here's the comic book I'm working on. With Dillard. Poor Dillard draws, by the way. John Dillard. Who's a ter you can't read this. Let me see if I can open this up in a new tab. This one here. Open up a new tab. Uh, I'll blow it up a little bit more. This might be some good advertising. Uh, for him. Uh, let me see right here. Share this tab instead. <clears throat> the comic book I'm working on with Dillard Draws is still coming. Oh, you don't say. I promise it will be worth the wait. For now, enjoy this amazing cover sketch by the great Kelsey Shannon. So here's a, a really is a very nice cover sketch by Kelsey Shannon. And look at this. Let's get it. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. All right, let's get it. Uh, and here's Yellow Flash. Yeah, let's go. So, you know, it, it does seem like a lot of these guys who are... Uh, <laughs> a lot of the, <laughs> it does look like the Power Rangers. Well, he actually said it was the Power Rangers. A lot of these guys are sitting there going, you know what? Like, fuck these late comic skate comics. Fuck these comics. Uh, you know, I'm tired of late comics. By the way, here's my comic, Eric. And then tag in like all of the Friday Night Tight guys, you know. No comic skaters. Just tag in, you know, the Friday Night Tights guys. You'll see that happen. I watched Gabe El Taib do that yesterday. It was unbelievable. It's the, the crassness of it. The obviousness of it. The desperation of it. Uh, is uh, very strange, very obvious. From a guy who said, uh, you know, you're not entitled to any promotion at all. Well, these guys are begging for promotion, and they're going to do whatever it takes. They'll burn down the entire Comics Gate community in order to get some promo from Eric July, who's not disposed to give it. He just doesn't want to give it. He doesn't seem to care. Uh, maybe he'll do it despite me, um, but... So his priority priority isn't timeliness. So there's no one nowhere. I don't know. I'm not sure what anyone's priorities are anymore, except for my own. Matty Ice says battle lines have been drawn. Thank you for ten dollars. Appreciate that. I'm not fighting with these guys. It's ridiculous. These guys are not in my league.